I would love for someone to have said to me, you know, if you're a designer, stay a designer. Just don't try and keep climbing the ladder and you might get paid a little bit more, but you work 10 times as hard answering emails and filling in spreadsheets. About uh, the fast transition of design and the, uh, that you always need to be up to date. It's a big challenge in waiting you there and be ready. <laughs> to realise that you need to be able um, to also have a bit of salesmanship in you because you need to be able to sell your ideas. To ask questions more, lots and lots of questions. That the initial years of practice, the effort versus rewards ratio would be very low. So be patient and it's gonna, you know, work around. We have a few towers, we have uh, like uh, villas, really VIP client villas. We do a lot of private residential work projects I can't talk about. I wish I could because they're really nice, but the clients don't want it to be public, so we have to keep it to ourselves. Lots of fun projects. Uh, we're doing a shopping mall, a lot of retail spaces, a lot of restaurants as well within that space, so it's very interesting. Breathe. It's a team show, basically, so having a great team and knowing how to manage the team and knowing how to manage time. I don't let my project managers come to me and tell me when they want something. They come to me, they ask me, and then I'll speak to my team. Have realistic deadlines. Yeah, going to a lot of exhibitions for sure, and then uh, be on the social media for sure. Uh, refer to a lot of uh, design blogs, um, magazines, and uh, design fairs as well. Listen to jazz music. When I was at uni, I was taught this 60, 30, 10 rule when it comes to colour. What a joke. <laughs> Do what you want. Get crazy with the patterns and colours. I am still a young designer, so I'm trying to learn the rules at the moment, but there will come a time when I understand all the rules and I'll start breaking them. Symmetry. I hate it. The history of interior design and the furniture. I can never remember the guy's name. Axel muller Scholl, I think. He wrote a book called Manuscript. It's in its second edition now. It just covers everything to do with ID and I love it. The Italo uh, Calvino's Invisible Cities. A lot, a lot, a lot, basically, that they won't fit at home. I'd love to have the Wiggle Chair by Frank Gehry. The iconic Barcelona from Mais van der Rohe. I would love to have anything by Monsieur Le Corbusier. I would love a client that would stick to the budget they give me at the start of the project, if I'm being honest, as simple as that. Someone who uh, respects design the way that I respect design. An ideal client would be someone who actually gives you a good brief and sticks to it right till the end and doesn't chop and change in between the project. I think nowadays it's about kind of thinking about how people use the space and maybe that, that idea of a third space because that's how they can fill them. I think there need to be more green pocket. Resilient spaces, spaces that adapt over time. Out of the box. Challenging, influential and exposed. Still get in there. Minimal, sustainable and smart.